ה-ה, מנהג ירושלים להתפלל שחרית בתשעה באב עם הציבור בבית כנסת בטלית ותפילין. עוד תשעה באב, זה מנהג או בירושלים, I believe the synagogue has a seminar, right? Pray with תפילין here, אה? שם בשחרית. I told, I told you last time that according to Arizal, if a person prays Shahid without tefillin and talit on the head, that tefillah doesn't count. So it's very important that we should keep Minhag Yerushalayim all over the world. Okay? And Al Achabet, Aba lo yeh chelik ma'akal osim kach, ve chelik ma'akal osim kach. You should not have 50% of people doing A, and, or 50, whatever, certain percentage of the people doing one thing, another percent of people doing another thing. You cannot do that. It's either everybody in the same, to, same page together with filin or everybody in the same page together without a filin. So if this is the synagogue we are right now, Rabbi Neri Cohen, uh, the minhag is to wear filin in the shaharit. If you come to pray here, what you should, you should pray with the tefillin in shaharit. Now what if by minha you're going to go to a place that they wear filin for minha? What do you do then? You wear again tefillin by the minha. Not to disconnect yourself from the minag of the makom. What about the bracha? Talit and filin. Again, you say bracha on the talit. If you wear it a second time, again, you say bracha laniach the filin. If you're wearing it a second time. Got it? But that goes for filin rashi. If by mincha you're already going to wear rabbin utam, by morning you wear shaharit rashi. Some people will do like that. In the morning they pray with Shaharit Rashi, and then in the afternoon they pray with Rabbein Otam, the ones that have the big ones, they cannot wear them together. The, 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 there are some people who have a custom to follow Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch says to wear Tefillin by Minha, not by Shaharit. Arizal said all the time Shaharit must be with Tefillin, even by Tisha B'Av. Which one is the right one? So we Sephardi people, majority of the Sephardi people follow the Arizal, which is by Shaharit. And who is the Minha? The other one? Is the Maran, Rabbi Yosef Karo. No, no, it's Faradi, also, but, but it's not a ruling according to the Kubalim. And we have a rule that whenever matters of Tfilah, we're always going to follow Kabbalah. In Israel? Where, where were you? I don't know. Okay. So uh, in that synagogue. The N in Shaharit also? I don't know, we overslept the Shaharit. That's right. It's the Yom Shel Tisha B'Av, right? It's the Yom Shel Tisha B'Av, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. David John Bates. It's a big message. Yo, yo, tayo. Okay. Oh, I don't know. But, but, no, I don't know. Hard to believe because the Zohar says if you pray without Talit and Filin, the Filah doesn't come. So it's hard to believe that it's uh, the Bin Hag Betel will do such a thing. Okay. המניחים תפילין דרבן אותם, people that the word תפילין רבן אותם, צריכים להניח תפילין של רבן אותם גם בתשעה באב. אם בתשעה באב we wear תפילין רבן אותם, ואם נוהגים להניח תפילין בתשעה באב שחרית, יניחו תפילין רבן אותם even בשחרית. If that's what you are custom to, I יעקב. ואם נוהגים במקומם להניח תפילין בשעת בתשעה באב במנחה, ראו שיניחו תפילין של רש"י ושל רבן אותם בביתם קודם, תפילת שחרית, יקראו כ... אוקיי, that's... We don't have that custom here. We pray here with shaharit, with filin. That's the custom here. That's the best way to do. Right. Okay, next. Yes, nashim shanoagot lechabed abayit bekol kohan velesader amitot. Women are custom to clean the entire house, beds, wash the floors. And uh, one of the reasons they give is because they're preparing the house for the arrival of the Mashiach. There is a story that Yerushalmi, Moshe Cohen told us, that he saw Yerushalmi that said that how could it be that Bet HaMikdash is destroyed? So the Yerushalmi said, before Bet HaMikdash is destroyed, HaKadosh Baruch Hu made Mashiach already born. And those one of the ten Sadiqim that went alive to Gan Eden. So when we say Mashiach is born on the Shabbat, not will be born, he is already born. His birth, date of birth 
is morning of Tisha B'Av. Bet HaMikdash is destroyed, afternoon of Tisha B'Av. So before Hashem gave the heat to the Am Israel, already prepared the salvation for them, the redemption for them. All we're waiting is that we're going to do Tshuva, Bale Tzion Goel, as we spoke about Shabbat. When is Mashiach is coming? Tzion to Goel, Goel to Tzion, which is a redeemer to the Yerushalayim. Ul Shabbat Pesha Be'Yaakov. When Am Israel are going to be not called Yaakov anymore, they're going to be called Israel. They're going back from the status of Yaakov. The Shabbat Pesha. And what is Israel? Right away, you're connecting the situation to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You're not blaming ever people that you are surrounded with. Not Yehudim and not Goim. That's the Chidush. Even Goim Yaakov. You never blame the guy that double parked your car and you cannot come out. You say, Baruch Hashem, Hashem saved me from a Devona car accident. Right now we'll stand by the red light. Another Devona will be under influence, not realizing I'm there. Bam! Getting me. What Hashem sent? This person to block me so I will be saved. saved. That's the mindset you always have to think about. Nobody cut you off in the highway for the wrong way. Nobody blocked your way and you slipping on the red light. By the time you moved already your red light started and now you have to wait another two minutes now for the red And this is a long line. You have to wait until they got the guy. <laughs> what do you say in that moment? Uh, behold? Right away. Don't make it Yaakov. Don't throw, throw um, the, the truth. Don't hold back the truth. The truth is Hashem did it for you. And why Hashem did it to you? Because He loves you. I have on my uh, station, whatever I learned, I wrote, God, Hashem, I wrote in Hebrew, Hashem, Ohev, Oti, with a smiley. Hashem loves me. All the time, whenever you you read, you pick up your eyes, you see this. Hashem, I wrote in my language. You can write in your own language. Constantly have to remind yourself this. Hashem, huh? In the phone, you want to do it? Yeah, put it on the phone. Sticker. Hashem loves me. All the time, remember that. You'll see. You say, I made it right away. I made it. My chabruta made that. This guy made it. It's like you're contagious. Everybody did it. And uh, and uh, every time we as, as we learn, I tell him. My name, Chavrut's name is Daniel. I said, Daniel, look there. Focus. Look there, focus. He tells me, look, look over there. It's a, right away helps a person put all of his worries, all of the stress that he has. It's a pill that relaxes it. I'm telling you, this is very helpful. Do it at your home, put it in your car, put it in your phones. Yaakov, next to your barbershop, put over there. Hashem loves me. I'm serious. You're going to see. It's a, it's, a, it's a funny thing, but you see how many days will help you throughout the day. Realizing that. Okay, continuing. So, that's one of the ten tzadikim bechor that went alive to Gan Eden. Who are they? Nashiach ben David. The Ushalmi says it. He's alive today in Gan Eden. Waiting for us to be doing Teshuvah. And Teshuvah means... Not only uh, Shabbat, Kippur, Kashrut, Nida, not only that, that's obvious. But mainly is the Tshuva of the heart, that we are happy about one another. We never blame somebody else for our losses, for our problems. We're always going to blame our sins, that we did not do the right things, we did not love the right things, we did not invest the right things in the right things. So those sins are the one that bothers me, not the person. Okay, continuing. Echad. After 20 minutes about Motzai Shabbat and Motzai Tisha B'Av is coming. It's finished. About 20 minutes after. So if Shkia is 8, 16, about 20, I schedule 25 minutes extended. By 8.40, the fast is over. 8.40, Thursday night, the fast is over. Many calendars will tell you different times, but it's going after different calculations. Timing calculations was the most complicated topic in Judaism. <laughs> Rabbi Israeli told us that he came to a conclusion of 12 different opinions about the same time. 12 different opinions. When is Tzedek Ohabim? 12. That's part of the Galut, by the way. All these arguments. It's part of the Galut. The Mara says that there is a Navi that says, Atida Torah Israel. There will be a time that Torah will not be remembered by Amis. Bechor? Giroi. Giroi. Yavizu. Remain tak za dzieta? 
Филин успели? Они говорят, Сухов Гехараб, пройдите там с сыровайной. Я говорю, нет, я там буду сидеть. Почему? Я говорю, у меня есть урок, я внезапно могу вылететь. Вау. Ам тайон гера, работай. Today he told me, Rabbi, he asked me a question about certain laws at Tfilin. I said, why are you asking this? What, are you not going to pray in the synagogue? He said, I'm going to pray in Yeshua. He said, Yeshua, when I come to Shiu? So, Rabbi, you're asking, Tov said, I'll, I'll try my best <laughs> to run out. Yes, for sure. You made it. Even though, you know, for this type of people, Yeshua is connected to Quran. <laughs> no, I mean, these, these uh, men, people, generation, Yeshua is above everything. And he still made it to Shiu. Kola <laughs> Kabot. Okay. So about so why am I telling you this? Because you need to have one opinion to follow. Don't get confused about these opinions. Twenty-five minutes is more than enough on Saty Shabiav to keep the fast. Eight. 40, pass it over. 25 minutes after Shkia. Now, it's recommended to do Birkata Levana after the Tisha B'Av. Here in New York, that it may be cloudy or whatever, a person going to miss something. You can do it before. Catch it now yeah, then. you can catch it now, yeah. I think now it's cloudy. Now it's good. Yeah, it's clear. Thursday night is the best time, but in places like New York, in Israel, it's very rare to have cloud. Rare. Rare is nice to have. Redka. Очень редко, чтобы было cloud in Israel. Majority of the times, the skies are open. Summer, the summer, the summer. Majority of the year, the, the clouds are open. The, the, the sky is open, no cloud, it's not cloudy. In New York, it's very cloudy. Majority of the year, I think, it's cloudy here. So that's why over here, you have to think. If you see that it's going to be cloudy, especially we have the phones and we can check that, if it's cloudy, don't take the risk. You're allowed to do Bikat Elevana even, Aaron and John, before Tisha B'Av. Best is after Tisha B'Av, but because it's cloudy, you can do it before Tisha B'Av also. Okay, here. Continuing. Now, if you want to do it after Tisha B'Av, it's better that you should bring with yourself leather shoes and a cookie or something like that to eat after the Tisha B'Av. So when you're going to come to Tisha B'Av, Birkat Levana, after the Tisha B'Av, Birkat Levana, you're going to be being, doing it in happiness. When you're hungry and when you have no leather shoes, it shows bipsani, shows not respectful. You're not going to go uh, to your wedding with a trapachni, you know, tapachki. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do it in such a way. The reason, by the way, the halakha says, and also Kubalim say, that we're going outside the house is in order to welcome the king. It's like you are welcoming the king. Mekabel Pnei Ashkenait says. So whenever you Mekabel Pnei Ashkenait, it's supposed to be done in a respectful manner. You should not welcome the Shkina in a tapachki and then a face that you are so hungry, you're not in the good mood. That's why eat something, bring with yourself cookie and something like this to bet Knesset. Leather shoes, bring it with yourself, either put here or some, something like that. After Tisha B'Av is finished, you put your leather shoes, eat something, go outside to say Birkat Levana. That's the best way to do it. Если можно, так is the best. следующий день is going to be Friday. Friday night is not the best, but it's kashe also. It's kashe. Especially in New York, that it's cloudy. So any time you can catch it, catch it. Even tonight, if it's, it says it's beautiful, tonight also good. Even though it's before Tisha B'Av. Birkat Alevana. Yeah. Yeah. It was a blessing for the light of the moon, that we are benefiting from the light of the moon. That's Allah. Kabbalistic, there's a lot of things that we do with this. Huh? Right. I'll tell you before what's the problem with many people that they don't read Hebrew. Kagda Birkat Alevana Chitayut. They stand outside like this. Kaddish al Israel, it got dal, it got dal. But It's a big mistake. Many times when I'm in the shoes and I see the situation, I come to the people that they stand over there and say, You don't have to read the whole thing. Just read the bracha. All the Lam Natsiach before, all the Alleluia after, all David Melech Israel, Chaybe Kayam, Siman Tov, Mazal Tov, all these things are recommendations. 
Bracha, one bracha. The, she, it's long, like Asher Yatsar. How long Asher Yatsar is? After to, to the toilet, how long Asher Yatsar is? Same exact length, Birkat Alevana. That's a rabotai, take upon yourself to say Birkat Alevana the right way. Просто так не стоит, и там как статуэтки, когда это Birkat Alevana читается. Да. You're supposed to just look at the moon before you say bracha, and then whenever you say bracha, it doesn't matter what direction you face. There is custom that face the other way, but it's not an obligation. Bechor yoftid. Now don't forget, on Tisha B'Av, we don't have a hundred blessings. Minikushe im nipyo on Berasha kol mezonot nietu. Because of that, you must make sure that the Hazan is going to have everybody in mind for the repetition. Don't pray long for personal things because the Hazan can start and you miss the repetition. If you miss the repetition, repetition chances that you're going to make a hundred blessings are almost zero because you cannot also say Besamim on Tisha B'Av. Besamim nilzea. Kushat nilzea. Pit nilzea. Kamumoja, okay, he's okay, but the one that they are not allowed, Amir John. Sadiq Ben Sadiq. Refill. The, uh, the regular people that they fast, not gonna have a hundred blessings. So that's why tell, make sure that you are listening to the repetition. Asarash, Dokra. Make sure I'm telling you, this is a. Kohanim, Leviim have a problem with this, thank you. Kohanim and Leviim have a problem with this because sometimes they're busy with the Nitilat Yadayim. Here it's easy, the Nitilat Yadayim. Whoever built this synagogue with the layout and the rooms and all this was haham. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the Bet Knesset is here, the Nitilat Yadayim is downstairs. Downstairs? So, yeah, sometimes we can see the Nitilat Yadayim downstairs. Kohanim and Leviim are forget, they're not even in the, room, in the floor, forget about the room. Somebody told me today, he said, Rabbi, I go to the Nitilat Yadayim, he's Levi. He says, I go to the Tilat Yadayim, he says, I don't hear nothing. Because all the Kohanim, and the door, he says, closes on me whenever I go. The Tilat Yadayim is outside the Betah Knesset totally. I told him, don't do it. I told him, so what, don't do it? I Levi, I said, don't do it. He says, doing Levi and Tilat Yadayim is Zohar. Listening to repetition, it's Shulchan Aruch. What do we follow? More is more mandatory. Shulchan Aruch. Oh, it's the halakha, it's mandatory. Not only that, only the Shulot Zohar says how important is the repetition. So if you're going, I said, tell the Kohanim not to chichi chacha. If they are not listening to you, don't do it. They laugh, they talk. But before they go to the Kohanim, they Many times the Kohanim go to the Tilat Yadayim and there is a lot of gathering, gathering chichi chacha, the laughing. Mm. Not allowed at all. Worse than talking in the Amida. In the Amida, would you talk? In the repetition, it's worse than that. It's talking in the repetition. Worse. Double worse. That's how Rizal writes. They says the repetition equals double the Amida. Double. That's why he says whenever you pray one shaharit, it's like you pray three prayers. Then you pray one shemin hai, you pray three prayers, and then you pray the there is no repetition because you gotta make seven. That's the fulfillment of the menorah. That's why there is no repetition by Arvid, he says. Because you gotta make a total of seven. Sheva bayom al ticha al mishpate tzitkecha. Shaharit three. Amida plus the repetition is double. And when you answer, when you pay attention, he says, Bone Rushalayim. You're going to Hashem, please be Rushalayim. He says, Bavhat Hashem, Honen Adat. Hashem, please give me that. Bavhat Hashem, Otsevi Chuva. Hashem, please give me Chuva. Hashem, I don't, should not be upset on people. I should be going back to you. Hashem, forgive all my sins, how many sins I've done, how many times I've said people, I break Shabbat, I break my breath, I break my eyes, how many mistakes I've done. 
רפאנו אמר ברוך אתה השם רופא, חולה עמו ישראל. השם פריז רפואה שלמה, to this, to that, to me, to that's come another we're talking about. Many times people make a mistake. They bang the table. Rabotai, answer. Answer. Stop him after one second. One second. Baruch Abraham? Yes. What did you answer on? Uh, I don't know. But well, you just answered. Why? Because the answer is not coming from the bottom of the heart. It's not coming. It's not, it doesn't have kavana. Shulchan Aruch says, if you don't have kavana, not if you don't answer. If you don't have kavana, Hamish repetition, Bedur Ne'achlot, Bleh Batala. All the repetition goes into the garbage, he says. Baha Le Batala. Baha Le Batala. Nineteen brachot Le Batala. Of the Chazan and everybody else answered Amen on this. Hamish Bedur Ne'achlot, Mero. They're not. You have to improve the shu'u. Siman Kuf, Chav Dalet. Maran says, must pay attention to the repetition. Ve'lechaven. Ve'la'anot amen. Lechaven, underline the word lechaven. Have kavana, whatever he says. It's like you are saying, pray for that. And says the Shulchan Aruch, Chatam Sofer, Ra'ovad Yosef and Zohar. And that he says, Tfilah B'Tzibur. The repetition is the Tfilah B'Tzibur. When the Gemara Masechet Brachot Avzayin said, Hashem is not going to make the prayer of the Tzibur denied, says all of those authorities, what are we talking about the prayer of the congregation denied? Hashem will not deny that. The repetition. Uh, during repetition, if you are not paying attention, ten people are not paying attention. Shulchan says every one of the people have to feel that they are one of the ten. You cannot say, Rabbi, there's a hundred people in the shul. Hi, I'm exempt. I can be on the phone where Rabbi Nutam go outside, make coffee, blow my nose. You right now, Amida. How would you talk to, do, behave during Amida? Ah, Baruch Abraham. Baruch Abraham. Magen Abraham. <laughs> how would you, how would you behave during Amida? Even more careful you have to behave during Hazara repetition. No. No. Yeah, it says Virag Lehem Regel Yeshara. Their leg their leg is straight leg. That's the Amida, the Malachim. Same thing, same thing. Arizal used to close his eyes, stand on his feet, both his fingers, thumbs like this, listening carefully to the repetition. Yes. Yeah. Listening or listening. Listening. Because Arizal had Concentration. He could make olamot, atzilut, bria, gilgulim, tikunim, come in, come out, millions of things. His mind was concentrated. Our mind, if we're going to close our eyes, <laughs> after five seconds, tu yechal nafsimu miru. Nafsimu miru. You finish amida, repetition, you have to say agomel to 19 times. <laughs> It's also, it's also in the, in the army That's why the brings it. People should follow inside the Sidurim. Now, Kafahim, it was almost a hundred years ago. He says, because uh, Kafahim says, because our concentration is not so good. It's before iPhone came to the world, before TV came to the world, before all the. <laughs> Imagine what concentration we have in comparison to them. Straight or 45? Straight. If you're able to stand the whole repetition, it's the best. But if it's hard, painful, this, that, sit down, but sure. be concentrated. Not sit down, stand same. Same, like The most a... important is the uh, akevin, the heels to touch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So this, is, this is in the army also. So as this it. is when you do. Ah, okay. Exactly like that. So that's it? the same thing army of Hashem. Okay. Army of Hashem. Yes. The army, years. army, he says. In the army, they stand like this. this is the yeah, same thing. Right. Same thing. When you're Iranian you're at attention. Iranian. <laughs> over here also. In Iranian police, army, police, okay. In army, everything. Heels together, really? 45 degrees away. Okay, the kachaze. Okay, Gimel. We did Gimel. Dalet, Aminag Akashir. That's why, Bechor, I'm, I'm serious. Many synagogues have no clue about it. Every time I used to go to a synagogue on the Tisha B'Av, I used to Rabotai, announce Rabotai. Make sure Chazan has everybody in mind, all the congregation ever have the Chazan in mind, because otherwise you're not going to fulfill a hundred blessings. 
and the obligation of fulfilling a hundred blessings is very big. I told him that when it says when Esav came against Yaakov to kill him, he says, it's how many uh, the, the, the angels, how many angels, uh, how many soldiers did Esav bring with him? How many people he brought with him? 400. Uh, 400. Some say son, some say he was like him. That he was a Galavariza, so to murder, so to there were the murders. It says, the Arizal says, same thing, you should know, the evil goes against us every day to kill us with 400 evil powers. It says, Esav died. The Sar Shel Esav, the minister, the angel of Esav, didn't die. It says he come against the Akov, which is Am Yisrael, every single day, 400 soldiers against us. It says, how do we make the power against, the antidote against them? The name of Hashem. It says, when you're bringing the name of Hashem to, the, to this world, you're knocking down the 400 soldiers. How many times should you mention the name of Hashem? It says, the name of Hashem has four letters. Yud, K, Vav, K. It says, when you make a hundred blessings, how many letters of Hashem do you brought down to this world? Four hundred. It says, that's whenever, what is the plan of the Satan? Not to make you sad, to make you die. Says the Gemara, he's not, he doesn't want you to lose, he doesn't want you to be sad. Bechol, what does he want you to? Die. Satan. Satan. He's going to start with the loss. The loss is going to bring you to sadness. Sadness is going to bring you to depression. Depression is going to lead you to Chesu Shalom. That's how it goes. It says, what is, whenever David Amelech's people used to have epidemic, pandemic, all this problem, all start dying. What did David Amelech said? You got to make sure, everybody has to make sure. What makes sure to do what? A hundred blessings. Why are the blessings? Bring uh, vaccines, bring uh, doctors, uh, all the, the doctors. What, what, do you, what is that? A hundred blessings. Says David Amelech, the secret why this evil able to harm people. Because the Jewish people have no protection against them. What's the protection of the Jews against that? A hundred blessings. But Kanachila without the problem. How did he? He didn't have a shield. Why? Because the people were not careful about a hundred blessings. When is a very easy day to miss out a hundred blessings? Tisha B'Av. Harder than Kippu. By Kippu you have Ne'ilah, you have Musaf, you have Besamim. By Tisha B'Av you have nothing, none of these things. Not Besamim, no Musaf, no Ne'ilah. Very hard by Tisha B'Av to get a hundred blessings. Other fasts, you don't fast from the night. So you eat, you drink, say mezonot, anamash, akol, or the restroom, bochnefashot, amichadar. It's easier to get in. I hear even from the night you cannot. That it's the most hardest day of the year to make a hundred blessings. That's why make sure chazan repetition. Everybody will pay attention to the repetition. Chazan is not going to be Speedy Gonzalez starting to two minutes that I'm here repetition. Telling to go slower. During the days today, you're not by yourself. And don't wait for six people just to, to start or nine people to start. This guy's going to miss now 100 blessings. This guy's going to miss 100 blessings. This guy's going to miss 100 blessings. And you on uh, people also should not be too long also. This day, try to go to a, a quicker uh, speed. So you're going to be able to get the repetition the right time. Or go to a minyan that they have a long prayer, or ask the minyan, today we're going to pray 10 minutes Amida. So this way everybody's going to have time. But if you are going to a place that you don't know how long is going to be the prayer, the, the Amida, the most repetition proceed. So that's why you pray quicker. If you see that you still have time, ask personal things. You don't have time, right away you start the repetition with them. Is this clear? Huh? Make sure you make announcements. You're good about these things. Yes? Okay, next. Minag is not to eat meat even on the tenth of Av. We don't eat meat even on the tenth of Av. Tenth of Av, in the night, right? Right. 
Oh, this year we're gonna eat meat. Shabbat. Shabbat, Friday night. You can taste the food if you are tasting every Friday. You can taste the food as we said. Huh? It's Thursday. Fast. Motzei Shabbat, do whatever you want. After Friday night comes in, Shabbat came in. That's it. You can eat meat from that point on. Do whatever you want. Eat meat, eat dairy, whatever you want. Just not together. Huh? Tomorrow the song starts 8.15. 8.15. Tomorrow, Wednesday night, the song starts 8.15. What time ends Rabbi Ovadia? Rabbi 8.40. 8.40 Thursday night. 8.40. Thursday night. Yeah. Can we get haircut Friday? Huh? No, I'm going to go to the house. 8.15. 8.15. Shkia is 8.15. Start 8.15 and 8.40 the next night. Right. Friday morning or no? Friday morning. No. Yes, it's steak, steak. And don't eat kalbasa, e don't eat kalbasa ever, also. My recommendation. Can we get haircut on Friday? I said, kalbasa, but don't eat. It's not healthy. Can we get haircut on Friday? Processed meat, ticket to cut what you tell it. Когда молодой не чувствуешь? Юи, базу. Да, а потом платишь за это? Потом идет interest, ребит. Yes, haircut, yes. Friday, this Friday? No, I don't eat kalbasa at all, at all, at all. Berlin never, Berlin never. Because it's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's all garbage. This is the reason. It's hot dogs, right? You know, when they grind the meat, they have like nails, skin, okay. fat, hair, everything. All the people who are in the meat, who are only eating the meat, but in the meat, they eat it. Spoil it! It's not a problem. Get a haircut on this Friday. Shave this Friday. Shower with hot water this Friday. No problem. No problem. It's just no, 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 no. Because it's the tenth. Friday afternoon, right? Friday. Утром даже можно. И купаться, и стричься, и бриться. Thursday night also. Yeah. The only thing you have to wait until the end of the tenth is meat. Sure. Everything else, Tisha B'Av is out. Sure. Okay, we have time. Okay, just don't forget, I announced it on Shabbat by announcing it again because we're on the recording now. Is on the Bukharian Sidurim. They don't have Nahem in all the Tfilot, which is a mistake according to Ravadia. So Amida of tomorrow Arvit, Thursday Shacharit, Thursday Minha. You're going to read in the Bukharian Sidurim the text of Min Amida of Minha. Over there you're going to have Anenu and you're going to have Nahem. Bechor Famidir. Yavam Prakazal Proslujin. Make announcement because many people don't know. They read what says in the Sidu. They think this Sidu was printed by Moshe Rabenu. I don't know if you're I'm too. I'm too. I'm too. Nipral Amida na ba na bonei Ushalayim of Tisha B'Av. It's not Nipral na because it's the printer followed the opinion of Ben Ishchai. Are we right now? All the Bukharians, all the all the people follow the ruling of Rav Adi Yosef. That's why the those Sidurim are correct according to Ben Ishchai, but not according to Rav Adi Yosef. And our ruler is Rav Adi Yosef. By that you have to announce to the people. When you come to Amida section, turn to Minha Amida. So, Minha Amida. like this, you're going to have the text over there of Nahem and the text of Anenu. I have a news for you. This one also doesn't have. What does Hashem also do? Wow. 
או שחר ידע זנב? נו, נחם איסס. נחם, ואנחנו Even pregnant, even nursing must fast in Shabbat. Shabbat is the top, like Kippur. Very strict. Only sick. Depends what medicine. If the doctor tells him you cannot fast, he doesn't fast. Continue. Says the Zohar Kadosh. We enjoy this Zohar, Habibi. This Zohar is... Keneged Kulam. Says the Zohar HaKadosh Ma'amar Ahavat Chaverim Gorem Lizkot Besodot HaTorah When a person loves friends, loves the Jewish people, he causes to get Zechut for the secrets of the Torah. Suddenly, wow, Chidush. You say to Chidush, listen, I saw this Chidush in the Arizad. What? He came to me. How do you get this? Says the Zohar, when the Jewish people love one another, they get the Zechut to see the secrets of the Torah. And people, Jewish people, does not love one another. Rabbi, I will visit you, Darogu Pirichashu. Rabbi, I have Kaneso Pirichashu, I have Tots Tulsi, I have Shimon and Shnevinan. Staleki mina olam kodem zemanam. You're gonna come shacharit, mincha, arvit, torat, filim, mezuzat, sedaka, mikve. Amash korom ekuni. Sefer Torah, psyatish adar. You're gonna die earlier because you hate another Jew. Ktot hakoy bril. Rabbi Akiva students, 24,000 students, Torah, Mikve, Chatzot, Amish, Amish, Amish. Shas, shas, Aval HaChaverim, Be'yamav Shel Rabbi Shimon. It says the Zohar, what's the reason Rabbi Shimon and God such a Zechut? That people used to speak secrets of Torah? Like you're saying basic things to people, uh, it was, the basic learning was Zohar, was secrets, was the highest level of Kabbalah. In the generation of Rabbi Shimon. He says, you know why? Because the religious people loved one another. I love you. Even if you disagree with me about something, so what do you disagree? It means that I should hate you? Okay, so. As this, it costs and it wanted to the generation. Uh, now you understand why there is no secrets of the Torah revealed to us? Why it's so hard to understand? Arizal, you read Olamot Akoy, Olamot Shekoy, Partzuf Adoy. You stay like this; it doesn't get to you. Says the Zohar, "Vim enam oavim." If they don't love another, the causes the shchina mistaleket me. Shchina comes out of them. Ve'en laem siyu ama shchina laleket bederich hayashar. And chas v'shalom, he causes Jewish people to go off the derech. Whenever a Jew. Does not love another Jew. Yeah, yeah, it's a chalavek and you look blue. You know what you just did? You just caused a power, energy in the world for some Jewish person to go off the derech. You hear what I said? It's a Zohar. This is a, not a simple thing. Zohar writes, if you're going to hate another Jew, you causes the Jewish people go off the derech. You causing that en- that hatred causes energy. The Zohar says that will make another Jew in the world start break Shabbat, start eat non kosher, start get married Goya. And you're thinking, wow, Bechorah, this Jew, look, I remember him used to come to Shul. 
You used to be a chazan, you used to be Baal Kore, you used to do this, you used to do that. How can it be? It's Mechalet Shabbat today. Why, 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 why? Now imagine if they show you in Shamaim, you were the reason that he started being Mechalet Shabbat. Huh? The Zohar says, if you hate another Jew, that's what you're causing. You understand how bad it is to have a tension problem with another Jew? That hate causes people to go off the derech from the derech hayashar. They're not going the right path anymore. The leaves them because of the hatred. They don't have the power of the Shekhinah to guide them on the right path. Zakir, have you understood what we're talking about over here? This is Rabotai, something we have to pay attention to. Extra careful. They say the Torah is coming from Tiferet. Tiferet is source of the love, source of the Chesed. He has in it, and Ahva brotherhood comes from the Gvura, and Emet comes from the Mitzada Tiferet. He said, the source of love is in Tzfirat Tiferet. He says, where is Tiferet? In your chest. That's when you love, love somebody, what do you want to do? Put your chest on his chest. That's whenever people meet in one another and they, and they give a takoy, but they give their shoulder. You feel it's not the same love. It's not, it's not, it's not a connection. What's missing? The body touched the body, the, the hands uh, tap the back. You see, sometimes like, you know, people come uh, with a the shoulder. They don't give you the heart, the chest. They give their shoulder. The shoulder is not Tiferet. Where is Tiferet, which is the source of love? In the chest. That's whenever somebody gives you a hug with a chest, you feel that love. He's connecting your tiferet to, he, to, to his tiferet to your tiferet, which is the source of the love. And what is the source of the tiferet? The source of the Torah. Abraham is chesed. Yitzchak is gvura. Yaakov is tiferet. Who was the, the forefather that learned the most amount of Torah? Yaakov Avinu. Ishtam Yoshev That's Kenegah Sfirat Tiferet. And Sfirat Tiferet is the emet. It's the source of the emet. That's why we say, Titen emet. The source of the truth is in Sfirat Tiferet. And that's why it's called Tiferet. Tiferet is from the word glory. Wow. The Torah is the Emet. And what's the reason you hate another Jew? Because you are falsely thinking, he caused me a problem. How can I love him? So what are you missing? The Emet. Missing the Emet. What's lacking? Tiferet. What's the source of love? In Tiferet. That's why you're not going to love Baruch Abraham, you understand? If you understand that he didn't harm you, don't go through a person. Connect. Hashem harmed me. I have a lot of mistakes that I've done. Hashem cleansed me with these mistakes that I've done. So you are fighting for, with the false. You lo looking after the truth. Then you have no tension with another Jew. Tivolubish. Why? Because you're looking for the truth. The truth is he didn't hurt you. The truth is Hashem hurt you. Yeah, sure. Somebody screwed you. So what do you do with him? Yeah, four hundred thousand. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Tomorrow they're gonna put a post of your child. He needs a terrible surgery. The cost is one point two million. Ah, shalom. So Hashem said, "You did this. You did averot. You deserve to pay more than a hundred million dollars for your mistakes." You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send this Joe Shmo. Is going to make you come into investment, come into certain thing, buy certain thing. It does with another chibet. Stotish, sochtaraf. What do you say, Hashem? Thank you so much. Instead of tomorrow, <laughs> runs all over WhatsApp. Please donate to a surgery emergency, a community member. And after Simon of yours is going to be showing over there with tears. How are you going to cry over your child? It can happen or no? Tack, in a second. In a second, one person called me the other day and said, Rabbi, I was driving home like a devona, like a chicken without a head. I said, what happened? 
He said, my child had a, a breathing, how do you call it, a, a, um, clogged, the, the lungs were clogged. So he says he was, at night, uh, was coughing, coughing. He said, I went to work. He said, somebody stayed in the house. He said, I get a phone call, fly to you to the house. Huh? He said, the child turned into blue. He doesn't breathe already for a few seconds. I don't know what to do. He said, I came home. He said, I understand a little bit about the medicine. He said, if I wouldn't come now, who knows what would happen to the child. Maybe he will remain a vegetable the rest of his life. Now somebody comes and says, join the dish, 100,000, I'm going to make you lose. But this child is going to remain alive. No vegetable, no fruits, no salad and food. You're going to be healthy. So why are you hating him? Because you're falsely blaming him. It's not him. It's Hashem cleaned your mistakes. When you understand that, you're leaving your life with Emet. Emet is Tiferet. Emet is Yaakov. Titen Emet. Yaakov. So you have no problem to take your chest, which is your Tiferet, and hug that guy. Not crush that guy. <laughs> hug that guy. In order to show that I hardly believe that it was not you. It was a Kadosh Baruch Hu. What, he hurt you? He's going to pay Hashem. He's going to pay Hashem for that mistake that he hurt you for 100,000 to be the chosen messenger. But you have no rights in one second to blame him. You have to blame your mistakes and see that HaKadosh Baruch Hu cleaned you from a disaster with this thief that took your money and didn't take your child or your, your own life. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen Amen. Yeah.